As you read through the Hebrew scriptures, and particularly in the stories of the patriarchs, which is where I'm reading through at the moment, you will see numerous instances of where the, the, the patriarchs ha have to move somewhere else. They find themselves having to leave the land that they're in, usually it's in the land of Canaan, Canaan and having to go somewhere else for, uh, you know, usually because of a famine. And this is really timely because I think it's yesterday, so I'm recording this on the 20th of June 2019, I think yesterday was International Day of the Refugee or something like that. And so it just really reminded me of the fact that the, the history of the Hebrews, the Israelites, is replete with example after example after example of them becoming refugees in a land that is not their own. In fact, the, of course, the whole central narrative, the central kind of founding uh, narrative of the Hebrew nation, Israelite nation, is their sojourn in Kemet, in Mizraim, in Egypt, and then being brought out by the hand of the Most High, Yah. And they were there, why? Why were they there? Well, because they were refugees originally. But now I just want to track through a couple of examples, a few examples of this. So on screen, Genesis, Bereshit, chapter 12, Abra Abram and Sarai, chapter 10 uh, sorry verse 10 now there's a famine in the land so Abram went down to Egypt Mizraim to sojourn there for the famine was severe in the land and we know what happened there with the whole uh, Abraham saying that uh, telling telling the Pharaoh that his wife was actually his sister and so forth and so on I covered that in my last video but there was one there was one example of them going down into uh, into Mizraim uh, going going somewhere because of a famine another example is in I believe it's uh, chapter 20, 28, let's have a look, 26. Isaac, or Yishak, Yishak went to Gerar, which um, I might have said that this was, this is the land, I believe the land of the Philistines, I think, he was a Philistine, I think. My apologies if he wasn't, but Yishak, Isaac went down into Gerar. Why did he go down into Gerar? Well, look, Genesis chapter 26, verse 1. Now there was a famine in the land, besides the former famine that was in the days of Abraham. So Yishak, Isaac, went to Gerar, to Abimelech, king of the Philistines. Again, refugees, that's refugees. You're a refugee, or perhaps you could say an asylum seeker. When you're moving to some other part of the world, you want to become a refugee. You want to seek refuge. They sought refuge in the land of the Philistines because of the famine that was in the land of Canaan. And then finally, for this video, is the example of the next patriarch, which is uh, which is which is Jacob or Jacob. Again, what happened? The famine. Genesis forty-three verse one. Bereshit sheep forty-three verse one. The famine was severe in the land. There was a great famine in the land of Israel, the land of Canaan. And so what happened? Just like his father and his grandfather and his mother and grandmothers before him, Jacob went down into Egypt. And not only Jacob, but all of the 12 sons of Jacob, the 12, the progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel, all of them, all 12 of them and all of their wives and all of their children and all of their houses, every single one of them went down. That's a large scale. I believe that the total number was, what was it? Was it somewhere like 72 of them altogether went down? I think it's 72 of them went down into uh, into the land of uh, of Kemet, of Mizraim. And of course, that's they went in there and they became an ex a huge population. But the point I'm saying is that over and over and over again, you see right from the beginning of the the, the, the history of the Hebrews, Abram, who is probably the first Hebrew, Yishak, the second, Jacob, the third, all of his sons, the fourth generation, went down uh, to another place. They were forced to become refugees in another part of the world, another neighboring part of the world. And of course, normally they're going into Africa. I've got a video on my channel which I've got a series of videos that I made 10 years ago, literally 10 years ago, all about the many, many occasions where the children of Israel found themselves forced to flee into other parts of the world. Now, when we're talking about the, the, the Hebrews today and who are the Israelites today, in the past, when I used to, you know, my understanding, I used to sort of think that only the, the you know, the, the Israelites who are in the Americas, that only they are the Israelites, you know, because of the curses and the experience of uh, European slavery, the slave trade and so forth. But actually, yes, the curses did apply to them. But um, when you read the scriptures again and more closely and think about it, that's not to say that every single Israelite would go through that experience. A lot of Israelites 
were in other parts of the world for reasons of becoming refugees there you know uh, and so then that makes me think of what well, I know for a fact that according to historical records from you know the from the before and after the Christian era era let's say there were hundreds of thousands in fact millions of Israelites in Africa in the continent of Africa due to you know famine due to war most especially all of the the different wars that were taking place between the neighboring countries of the you know the Yehudim and the Israelites they were forced into Africa you know over and over and over again to seek refuge there and so we should expect if there were if there were millions of them in the first century CE which according to the likes of Josephus and uh, other Greek histor Greek historians there were indeed two and upwards, uh, you know, millions of Israelites in Africa in those days. It would should not surprise us to be thinking that many, many, many of the people who are now called Africans in Africa are themselves Israelites because they were they went there as refugees seeking refuge from war, from famine, and so on, the sword, and so on and so forth. And then that's uh, just to finish up. That's one of the things I'm really interested. I'm really enjoying looking at some of the videos and out there on YouTube from brothers and sisters in Africa in places like the Congo and regarding to places like Ghana and even you know talking about the Bantu people who are, who are spread in many parts of Africa talking about and, and, and proclaiming the Israelite heritage uh, or what they see as the Israelite heritage of some of these peoples and you know I'm really enjoying kind of getting to grips with some of that but um, the point just to make I suppose to make is that the Hebrews have got a strong history of being refugees and uh, you know today when we saw for example that massive refugee wave in Europe a few uh, two three years ago that's the kind of wave of refugees that we're looking at at the time of you know in the in the biblical era you know of Israelites going into Africa and you know let's not forget let's not forget refugees wherever they're from you know look we should look after refugees because one thing I, I know is that the most high is extremely concerned about refugees and about all who are weak and downtrodden and oppressed and voiceless and so on and so forth so let's not forget them look out for them don't don't uh don't disdain them don't hate them don't buy into all of the uh the propaganda that we hear f these days you know from from people about how refugees are coming to take our jobs i mean yes there's issues there's political issues there's issues of resources and management and so forth cultural issues yes there are these issues but at the heart our hearts m should be to see what we can do to assist these refugees particularly if you are uh, seeking after the face of Yahweh and particularly if you are an Israelite because Israelites themselves have got a very very long history of being refugees going right back to the great patriarch Ab Abraham, Abraham and uh, Sarai. Thank you for watching, take care and I will chat to you soon.